Hi students, Namaste. This is Arjun Gupta from Saint Joseph Degree College. In this session, we are supposed to discuss regarding to banking system. Banks play a significant role in the overall development of a country. There has been a rapid growth of banking organizations in different countries. Different types of banking systems have come into existence with the development of economy. The banking system differs from economy to economy and country to country. Every country has its own banking system. Banking systems are broadly classified on various grounds like a volume of operations, business pattern and area of activity. There are different types of banking systems such as unit banking, branch banking, chain banking, group banking, universal banking and investment banking. In this session, we are supposed to discuss only regarding to unit banking system. When an individual bank operates through single office, it is called unit banking. Particularly, when the customer base and geographical area are relatively small, unit banking system will help to grow a lot. According to Solman, an independent unit bank is corporation that operates one office and that is not related to other banks through either ownership or control. Actually, unit banking system originated and grew in USA. Now, let us see the advantages of unit banking system. Unit banking system will be having more operational freedom. The managers of unit banking system are given more discretionary powers so that they can understand the needs of local customers and can provide better services on merit. Unit banking system are more responsible and accountable. It is easier to fix responsibilities and make the executives more accountable and can regulate the competency of employees. In unit banking system, quick decisions and prompt actions can be taken. The managers can take quick decisions. Red tapeism and inordinate delays can be avoided and loans and advances can go on appropriately and foster the growth. Unit banking system involves lower cost of operations. The cost of operations can be significantly reduced as the salaries of the employees are also based on regional cost of living. In unit banking system, close customer banker relations can be maintained. Since the area of operation is limited, the customers can have direct contract so that their grievances can be redressed then and there itself. In unit banking system, no evil effects due to strikes or closures. In case there is a strike or closure of a unit, it does not have much impact on trade and industry because of its small size. It does not affect the entire banking system. In unit banking system, there is a no chance of monopolistic practices. Since the size of bank and area of its operation is limited, it is difficult for the bank to adopt monopolistic practices. Moreover, there is free competition. It will not be possible for the bank to indulge in monopolistic practices. And in unit banking system, there is no risk of fraud. Due to small size of the bank, there is a stricter and close control of management. Therefore, the employees will not be able to commit fraud. In unit banking system, inefficient banks will be closed because inefficient banks will be automatically closed as they would not be able to satisfy their customers by providing efficient services. Unit banking helps for local development. The unit bank has the specialized knowledge of local problems and serves the requirement of local people in a better manner than branch banking. The funds of locality are utilized 
for the local development and are not transferred to other areas. This unit banking promotes regional balance. Under unit banking system, there is no transfer of resources from rural and backward areas to the big industrial and commercial centers. This tends to reduce regional imbalances. Now let us discuss the disadvantages of this unit banking system. The first disadvantage of unit banking was there are no economies of large scale. Since the size of unit bank is small, it cannot reap the advantages of large scale like division of labor and specialization. The lack of uniformity in interest rates is also a disadvantage in unit bank system. As in unit bank system, there will be large number of banks in operations, there will be lack of control and therefore their rates of interest would differ widely from place to place. Moreover, transfer of funds will be difficult and costly. There will be no lack of control since the number of unit banks is very large. Their coordination and control would become very difficult. Other difficulty of this uni unit banking was risk of bank's failure. Unit banks are more exposed to closure risk. Bigger units can compensate their losses at some branches against profits at others. This is not possible in case of smaller banks. Hence, they have to face closure sooner or later. The other disadvantage in unit banking was limited resources. In this kind of system, the size of bank is very small. Consequently, its resources are also limited. Hence, they cannot meet the requirements of large-scale industry. Unit bank cannot have healthy competition. A number of unit banks come into existence at an important business center. In order to attract customers, they indulge in unhealthy competition. In unit bank, wastage of national resources will be a large extent. Unit banks concentrate in big metropolitan cities, whereas they do not have their places of work in rural areas. Consequently, there is uneven and unbalanced growth of banking facilities. In unit bank, there will be no facility for banking development in backward areas. This is because of the limited resources so that they cannot afford to open uneconomic branches in smaller towns and rural areas. As such, these areas remain unbanked. And finally, unit banks will have a lot of local pressure. Since unit banks are highly localized in their business, local pressures and interferences generally disrupt their normal functioning. Students, these are the advantages and disadvantages of unit banking system. I hope you have enjoyed this session a lot and thanks for listening.